First you need to download socket.io.js. The link will be provided in the description. After download, you have to copy and paste it in static folder. Install a new module named socket.io. Now we are creating an HTTP server with Express. Creating an instance of Socket.io. In Socket.io, we also have to pass the HTTP reference. Now we will listen from this HTTP server. This function will be called whenever a new user is connected. Which means whenever someone opened the website. We will get the socket object for each user. We can call all socket related functions from this object. Link to complete documentation is provided in the description. In admin header, include the socket io.js file. We will be sending the data object when post is created. So we are saving in separate variable, because we will be reusing this. We also need the ID of newly inserted post. Because that will be used when user clicks on read more button. Instead of sending the string, we will be sending an object. We can get the ID by using inserted ID from document object. Now we are creating an instance of socket. And we'll send the new post object to all users. First will be the event name. And second will be the data. Data can be string or object. Whenever you emit something, you will first receive that event in server.js. And then, server will send that event to all users. Broadcast means, that event will be sent to all users except the admin. Now we do the same thing to user header. We will be listening to new post event on home page. Whenever a new post is created, we will display it at the top. So we are receiving this correctly.
enclose your for each loop in a dev, and give that dev an ID so it can be accessed in JavaScript. We have to create an HTML string variable with same layout. Just enclose every line in single quotation. and do the same at the end of every line. Now just replace the static values, with values sent from socket event. In order to show the post at the top, we have to call the jQuery function, prepend. Let's check in side-by-side -side windows, to make sure it is actually working. You will see, as the admin click the alert button, a new post will be displayed on the user side. In next tutorial, we will do the real-time comments, which will be almost similar to this one. 